What's poppin' Big Headed Fam? It's your boy Big Gotti and we are back with another episode of Unfiltered. I'm here with my other co-host. Raider Boy, what's up, bro, everybody? I'm Jay with it, yo. Busy Mac and Handicap Assassin. Let's get it. Yes, yeah, sir. And thank y'all for rocking with us on another one. Basically, we handle a lot of fan questions, real life questions. So we're going to jump into this, man. So basically, man, finesse two times, man. He has left Erica Banks yeah. because she did not make him breakfast when he woke up in the morning. So, <laughs> so basically, she jumped on her phone, man, and she got on IG. And he was like, man, I'm not digging it, man. So you let me know what you think about that. Would nah, you that leave a girl for that? Right. That sounds about right. If you got, if you're used to getting something in the morning and she can't get it for you, you gonna get to get it somewhere else, man. For sure. Because if she's sitting there going straight to her phone, and what if she got kids? Then she just sits on her phone. The kids are hungry. You're hungry. Jeez. That shit don't work, man. So yeah, I'd probably be in the same situation. Like I'd be trying to move her on the way out, like, cause that's just some lazy <laughs> he said, shit. Move her on the way out, brother. Yeah, man. I can't lie about it. Yeah. What you think? What you think, Big J? Damn, that shit's crazy. I don't know. Oh, hell no. Nah. She better be making me breakfast when she wake up, boy. Yes, sir. That's crazy, man. Like, come on, man. That's your, that's your only job. Shit, for real. Get man. off your ass. Why you up on your phone? We both gonna starve. And we both gonna starve because you ain't make no food? Like, come Shit's on, man. Crazy. It don't take much work to make some eggs and bacon, man. <laughs> Slap it together right quick. Finesse ain't wrong with you. Hey, how you feel, Raider boy? A little omelet, huh? Huh, a little something, but... Uh, Shit, you know, like they say, man, the most important meal of the day is going to dictate your day. Yeah, the man right. is serious about his shit. You know what I mean? He probably likes some real obedient. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. know what I mean? He, he did what he did. He had to let her go. Yeah, I'm shit, no. Nah, like, he even got meals and breakfast in jail. Like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. He sure did. He just got out, too. Huh? He like the CEOs, man. He's, this shit in, in jail. Crazy, you, better make, you better make me so, shit on a hot plate, boy. On a hot plate, though. Hey, look. Make me a little quick omelet. You know what I'm saying? Couple pieces of bacon, you know what I'm saying, on the side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let hot me get started. Oatmeal, you know what I mean? A, hot, a little hot oatmeal, something simple. Some little little, little something simple, man. I, I feel like uh I, I, I don't think I don't think <laughs> finesse, for real though. I don't feel like I don't feel like finesse is wrong, you know what I'm saying? For one, his his breakfast, man. He make the money around the house, man. Of course he want a little bit of food, man. For sure though. Yeah. Sure, man. Man. But it's crazy. I mean, I just want to get y'all opinion, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know what I wanted to ask y'all next on this, man. So you know, you got Kim Kardashian, man. She getting into it with the uh, Scottie Pippen's daughter. She getting into it with a lot of girls, man. And basically, I want to know, like, a lot of girls look up to her, man. Like, you know, they look at her as a successful businesswoman, but the sex and scandalous things bring her to the top. So they think that they need to Fair. almost, like, reenact that type of behavior. Fair. So I want to know, what do you feel about How do you feel about that situation, man? I feel that they're trying to glorify that shit because that's all you see is girls trying to look like Kim Kardashian, fake lips, mm-hmm. fake hips, fake yeah. tits, fake everything, man. It's just not even real no more. They, and they can't even, you can't even find a real female. Like, a real female is rare nowadays. Like, these bitches got too much agendas and, like, too much trying to bash men and, like, trying to break them down. What's that shit called? Demasculize them, all that shit. Yeah. yeah. And they expect us to be okay with that and shit and they have their nose up in the air and now every nigga is just the same just like every bitch is the same it's just weird Spit, I give them that we're not game. getting nowhere like that so. hit them with the game my uh, nigga. Uh, what, 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 how do you feel about it personally man nah, I feel like you know prove me if I'm wrong on this one but I feel like Kim K is only big because of the people she fucked Man. Right. True statement. You know? True statement. She's with Kanye, Ray J, all these people, man. Been around. Mm-hmm. Been around, passed around. Hey, I'm not gonna say you can't fuck fuck other people, fuck other strangers. But whatever, you know. <laughs> you know? Pussy pussy's a, a traffic way, you know, and she just let it through. And and then she just happened you know, the happened the the rich guy with the with the Rolls Royce just went through went through the traffic, you know. Yeah, lying either. You know. She uh it's a little glorified, like you said, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Women kind of got that on easy mode, if we're being real. They kind of got it on easy mode, and they kind of, like, glorify females like this. But I want to get your opinion, Raider Boy. How do you feel about it? I'm with the guys, man. Uh, you know, these girls look at them like role models, and and you know what I mean? And and you see when you get on these social media and all this shit. Uh, women damn near trying to negotiate the pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, trying to sell, trying to sell you the pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trying to sell you the pussy, man. For real, give it to him straight the fuck up. 
<laughs> yeah, they're trying to sell you the pussy, and it's like, you know? And I don't want it if it's that easy, man. If it's uh, that easy. And, uh, well, all yeah, they're trying to do, all they're trying to do, excuse my fault, for, but all they're trying to do is get a dollar sign out of it. So he right, he very right what he's saying, you feel me? Like, they want, they just want the best of, the best of what they can get out the guy at the end of the day. They ain't got no real uh, Yeah, so that just no shows you got no, no relationship. value in yourself. But but finish 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 out right away. I mean, yeah, they just you know the pussy's like uh, real beneficial, and they didn't figured it out. No, they did. And they're out there trying to negotiate it, and uh, and it all comes from the Kardashian though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It all nah. comes from them because before a woman weren't like that, man. Now they feel like you know. <laughs> nah, you ain't lying. No, nah, like you said, just how um, they look up to Kardashians, they look up to Tate. And and the fellas, how long has the uh, how long has the series Same been shit. going, man? The series has been going for a long time. Why? Because they're real popular. A lot of people like watching them. That's a good point. They have been on there for nah, a lot of fast. years, bro. Too long. A long, a long, long time. And the people like they fiend for that shit. Like they even wanted to stop, and the fans wouldn't let them stop. They had to come back another season, this last one. And it's like, man, what are you really watching? What is she really teaching you on that show? You know what I mean? Keep teaching you how to be hands. uppity, stuck up. You know what I mean? Be a bitch. For sure. Capitalize on Not the watch your kids. Yeah. Nah, facts though. I just, I just want to get your opinion on this, you know, because... You got a lot of girls out here, man, that's following behind his fake lips, fake butt, BBL, all that type of shit, man, just to get a dude. Plastic lifestyle, man. Fake yeah, shit. yeah, for real. And all they want, all they want is just a dude to take care of him at the end of the day. They don't even want to try to do nothing. They think being pretty is going to get them the bag. You know what I mean? <laughs> and niggas are trying to just cap through life. Facts. Instead, hey, instead of just trying to, you know what I'm saying, use their brain, because, you know, I got daughters. Right, got you. You know what I mean? So I want my daughters. I don't want my daughters. To be following after Kim Kardashian, Bats. you know what I mean? The fuck do I look like? I want my daughter to be smart to where she she tell a dude like, "Hey, bro, I don't even listen to nothing you saying." You know, it's not got my own shit going on. You know what I mean? That's right, facts. To be honest, but you know what I want to talk about deeper than we think, bro. So I want to talk about next, man. So Biden, man, basically he wants to strengthen background checks. You know, what I'm saying for firearms, and he actually has an initiative to where he wants to take um, firearms uh, like assault rifles and. Well, he calls them war weapons. That's what he calls them. So he wants to take all war weapons off the street, basically. He don't want no more uh, switches, Glocks with switches, and AR-15s with automatic fully, you know what I'm saying, and 60-round clips and shit. He wants to basically ban that. And I want to know y'all opinion on this. I'm going to agree to disagree because it is a good thing with about the switches and shit like that. Why you, say an- why you say it's good to have a switch? No, I'm saying it's not good to have the switch. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but it's just another reason... For him to disarm us and for them to have the upper hand, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they control who can get guns and who can't. Mm-hmm. So that's just a big pile of bullshit, I think. <laughs> but really, they just want to, yeah. That's one way to get the upper hand on us. That's why y'all need to get your uh, firearms and shit ready before they start making all these weird-ass laws and shit. They're trying to change the Constitution and all types of crazy shit, man. Good point. Good point. Good point. That's fact. Shit's weird as fuck. How you feel, Big J? Um, I'm, I I totally agree with, mm. with BJ on that. I don't feel like that's bullshit to take away our, our guns. Do am I a fan of you know automatics uh switching? Nah, I'm not. But you know that is our constant. That's our constitution, man. That's our rights. Our amendment. You know to bear arms. Mm-hmm. To bear arms to anything. Obviously. You don't want switches because that is fucking illegal. Yeah. It's fuck. No, but, no, no. That's, that's but, um, no, 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 no. Don't, don't take away our guns. I don't care. Don't, yeah. don't do that. That's, that's mad. How, how, do you, how do you feel about uh, Big Raider? Man, fellas, I'm going to have to disagree with the team on this one. Okay. I, uh, man, I feel like he took too long for this to happen. A lot of people had to lose their lives. Mm. For for people to wake up, shit, and, good point. And for shit to change, you know what I mean. Yes, it's sir. sad that it had to come to this, but I'm all for it. You know what I mean. There's nothing wrong with uh, trying to make it, try to get a background out of somebody before you hand them a gun. There's no reason why somebody should have an AR-15 for what? To protect your family and your kids and shit. They just want to take your gun so they could just take your kids and shit like they've been doing sick motherfuckers. What happens? What happens if we went to war like World exactly. War? Exactly. Like what we gonna we, do? We didn't have no bangers though. Like we have to fight thing. with our hands and shit. Yeah, we got to beat people up with our fists and shit. That shit ain't gonna work. We're losing for sure. Who got a gun? <laughs> oh, the government got our guns. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying, Raider Boy. Like, I mean, of course you need a. Guys, there's no reason why somebody should have an AR-15. They're just not, man. I mean, a you could be a person? fan. You could be a fan. Look, you could be a fan of, of the weapons. Like Jay was saying, 
And not like you can have a gun, but the AR-15, I mean. Nah, I you know what agree I'm with that. That's a whole different. That's a man. We talking about something else. Yeah, I agree with. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think. I think I'm. A, I'm gonna keep this unfiltered. You can have a right? 38. Can I keep it unfiltered? Go ahead, keep it unfiltered. Got right. you, man. Right, whatever whatever kind of gun I got is whatever kind of gun. I don't think you should be able to just tell me like, oh, you can only have these particular guns because that's not what was written into the Constitution. Facts. And with human uh, evolution, like we're evolving, right? So, of course, the guns is going to get better and better and better and be able to shoot faster and do all kind of dope shit. But do criminals need them in their hands? Of course not. But what I will say is that strengthening a background check ain't going to yeah. change that. No, nah, but I agree <laughs> with the strength in the background check, though, because a lot of felons and people are getting guns and shit that shouldn't have them, but... They shouldn't take our guns away from us and shit like that. Really control it and see what guns we can and can't have. That's like we said, unconstitutional and shit. Jump in there, jump in there. Look at the minute. The thing is with guns, it's a little tricky now because while we do have a amendment, a lot of things can change. So, if like for instance, if you book yourself into a, if you bump, if you book yourself into a, to an, uh, to like like you have mental problems right Yeah, like for sure. You mainly get your shit taken away. Yeah. You have to wait. That's facts. Good I think point. I think about ten years. I want to say. Yeah, and also there's and a lot of things set up. Kids too, like that shit gotta stop. Yeah, like you gotta be at least like you said, twenty one or something. At least, 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 least twenty one or yeah, something. Yeah, because little eighteen year olds running around and whatever. These no, 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 not twenty one. Excuse me for a firearm. Twenty seven. I, like, I feel like you should, you should, uh, you should have to take tests before you get a firearm. Men- mental test. Yeah, you should for have to, sure. Mental all kind of shit because people make. That. I think people with guns, and this is my personal opinion. Y'all can correct me if y'all think I'm wrong. But I feel like with guns, people make like human error a lot of the times. Like when they shouldn't have shot a motherfucker, they shoot them. No, nah, for scared, sure. Kill them. Boom. Or they trying to prove a point. You know what I mean? They're not really being themselves. Nah, right. I feel like you should have like a mental test. And then with the kids in these inner cities and shit, I think if you had a different way to for them to like play basketball, play something. Th- there's a lot nah, of like, for sure. Like, like youth centers like, and like, where, where we from? Yeah. yeah. Where we from ain't shit to do. So these motherfuckers thinking. Nah, but growing up there was shit to do. But as we got older, like you said, they started defunding shit like that. For sure. Look, fellas, uh, man, uh, uh, I was watching the news yesterday, and now that we're talking about guns, man, there was a little girl. Y- you guys could look it up. Mm-hmm. There was a I girl. I think she was uh, three years old. She shot her little sister. That was two years old. I heard about that. You know what? I, did Damn. you hear about that, Jay? About that, yeah. It goes back to what I was saying, man. Shit's so you know nuts, what I mean? bro. Uh, sometimes when you have a gun, man, you gotta uh, you're open to shit like this to happen. You know, when you got children, it could happen. You can never say, "Oh, not me," but you know. I I hear you completely, but my my only argument to this sentence that sentence is that like. And let me say this though. If uh, he, man, go ahead. let me say this, uh, man. I just want to clarify. I'm not. No, you're right. I'm go not. Ahead. I'm not against people having guns. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm not, man. People got to protect their family. People, you know, where you live and everything, you got to, you know? Nah, but yeah, like... So, I'm all for it, but, uh, like, it goes back to what I was saying. AR-15, nobody should have an AR-15. Nah, but the, the kids, the guns shouldn't be that easy access to the kids. But I remember when I was little, I was jumping on my mom's bed, and the gun came up from underneath her pillow. And, and, and that's... That's, protect that's, herself. that's, you that's where have, I was... That's where I was actually going with it on my end. I was saying that in my head, like, well, if your kid has access to the firearm, obviously we go back to parenting, right? Yeah. So that's a big problem. You know what I'm saying? If you're letting your kid have access to your gun. But I just put the shit back under the pillow. But these are little babies. I'm not just saying. I'm not saying you. I'm saying the situation he was talking about. For sure. Right. So that's a big problem. Right, right. You know, I don't know why you would have a gun and access for your kids. I think you should get charged with murder. It happens very sure. too often. I man, think you should happens. get charged with murder if you if you allow your kids to do that. Was that was solely happen. on the the parent though. Like they had solely. the safety because a little three year old ain't gonna know how to take a safety off. Facts. But bro, they'll still try to charge a little three year old on some weird, crazy government shit. What oh. man, bro? Nah, they do though. They try to they try to make a point or prove a point from everybody. It's like weird. that one show back in the days. I mean, back in the old show where that kid killed his mom over the game and shit like. That little kid wasn't even right in the head. Like, it's like when that sister uh, over there, I think it was in Texas, it was, uh, it was a old, it's a little bit of an old one, where she uh, she murdered her, uh, this is the the little sister. She was only like about, about 10, I believe. Yeah. She did kill her her little baby, a little bit little baby, little baby brother. That's yeah. just, well, it happens. It a lot of these games don't be helping too, though. Yeah, good, good point, my nigga. A lot of the video games is For it's sure not. not. It's not helping at all. You know what I'm saying? You got you got oh. shoot them up, bang bang video games where the kids think when they get guns, bro. That's what they're supposed to do with them. You feel me? Facts. 
And it's like pointing the gun at your little sister. Was it her little sister you said or her big sister? Right, her big boy? Big sister. No, I remember that too. Like you it's shot her in the back of the head or something. Yeah. Yeah, like even doing shit like that. What was your story? What was the one you was talking about? You said on the news? It just happened yesterday. I the believe. little girl. Yeah. You hear about it? I think she was four or three years old and shot her younger sister. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, shot. Shot. that was two, I believe. That's it's happening too frequent too, like you too said. Too frequent, you know? Yeah. And, you know, parents are exposed to that. You know, sometimes you can get careless. Man, you see a two-year-old, you don't think much of it. True. But you never know. My condolences to everybody lost, though, for sure. I mean, you, you really you really never know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I want to talk about next is actually, uh, you know, sobriety. People struggling with sobriety. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my boy actually, you know what I'm saying, he actually told me to ask a question but don't say his name. But basically, he said, man, he's really struggling with pills right now. And he's trying to get off, and he's he wanted like some help, some some advice from other people. I don't know if you guys ever struggle with anything. If you want to you know, sure. keep it one hundred on here, you know, uh, what I'm saying? for sure. Yeah, okay. I used to struggle. I've been um, so so. Give it to him. Give it to him. Busy. Let I've him been feel free for about two, three years now. I'm going on three years. Okay. Since like 2020, so I've been doing good. I used to struggle real bad. Like I used to depend on nothing but pills, but. I got so tired of being having going through withdrawals and being sick and throwing up every month. You know what I'm saying? Even when I had pills, I would still throw up. So it'd be like never any story. But once I stopped taking the pills and um, they at my pain management, they gave me this stuff called um, Suboxone, and it stops your cravings, it stops your addictions, and it blocks your pain receptors, so you don't overdose and shit, or you don't get cravings no more, and you don't get sick. So I've been taking that ever since, bro, and it felt like I had another lease on life. So if you could, ask your doctor about trying that and stopping pills and see how that goes. They got a pill form, or they got like a film form you could put behind your tongue. But yeah, ask your doctor for sure, because there's ways they can help you, bro. Like say you're tired of these pills, you're tired of depending on them, they're fucking your life up. You know what I mean? There's change. You want to change, you know what I mean? You got to take charge in that shit, really. You gotta be the change yourself. You know what I mean? Yes, Shit sir. ain't gonna happen for you. That was game, bro. That's that's facts. That was game. What what else? How would you give him advice to stop, man? Uh, I actually had a, a friend die from that from pill usage. For mm-hmm. sure. Um, it was sad. Um, I found out about two years ago. Mm. I was I used to live in Arizona, man. So I knew he had a he was in a broken family, broken home. His mother was a uh, was always addicted to pills. Mm-hmm. So. He always had just easy access. You know, they would be under the the sheets, you know, yeah. little pills, you know, and the under the pillows, whatever. The you know, cabinets are full of them. For sure. Yeah. Um, but I found out he died at 18. You know. Um, that's sad. Rest in peace to him, man. Rest in peace. That's really young. The yeah, will. Yeah, that, is. That, that broke me a little bit because I was best friends. But to stay on topic, um, you have to have the will. Mm-hmm. To stop doing it, man, and, and it fire. goes in. It goes into anything. For you sure. know, the will to stop overeating, the will to stop drinking, the will to stop smoking. Mm-hmm. You know, doing heroin. For you sure. have to have the will to change. To overcome, for sure. Facts. Now you're in line. Yeah. I feel the same way. How do, how do you feel, Raider Boy, about it? Uh, whoever your friend is, I feel like he took a big step. Letting you talk about it on the show and. uh it starts there, you know. Get into the mic. It starts there. Uh, you know, uh, I can't relate, man. But uh, all I can say is, uh, stick. You know, stick close to the ones that love you. Uh, be strong, man, and you just gotta go through it. There's no shortcut. Sometimes, you know, you for gotta sure. go through the withdrawals. Mm-hmm. You gotta go through hell and back for you to get. You know what I mean? For yeah. You come back Facts. sometimes. You know, and and that's all it is. And uh, shout out, man, and uh. Shout out to the person yeah. that uh, shirt. we ain't gonna do no names because he don't nah, want to be no named. names, man. But shout out to him and uh, starts there, man. Recognizing you got a problem and mm-hmm. sharing it with other people, and here we are giving the, our opinion. And I hope we're uh, help help to him. You know, yeah, what I mean? help you the best, man. But all I can say, man, is you got to write it out as a man. Keep pushing, man. There's no shortcut, brother. There's no shortcut to this shit. You know, the only mm-hmm. way is up. For uh, real. This shit didn't happen overnight, man. Uh, a lot, if you used it for a lot of years or however long you used it, you know what I yeah. mean? You can't take that shit away in a day or two. Like I said, you got to ride it out with your chest out. Mm-hmm. Honestly, man, one thing I'll probably say, try to find something to cope with, man. And 
buying time, like do a For hobby. Real. Nah, he ain't lying. Either. Nah, that's that's know. a good thing too. Facts. Play an instrument, maybe. Uh, make beats. Whatever your talent is, man, dig deep. You know, everybody got a talent. Because the thing about the thing about drugs and addiction, like, you know, I lived a long life and I didn't did all kind of things, and you know, and I, I feel like drugs. It's almost like you you. You using drugs in the place of because you don't got nothing else to, to cope. do. Yeah, and to yeah. cope with something. And to cope, and to cope, but the coping you can get over shit. Like if you just therapy, whatever. You gotta be real. No, you just gotta talk about it. To me, like a lot of people keep things bottled in and they don't talk about it, and then they go fucking crazy, bro. Facts. And then they wonder why, like they doing all these drugs or getting drunk or whatever. You are using it to cope with the simple fact that you know something traumatic happened to you. You know what I mean? That. So, that or you just trying to escape reality. You don't like how you're living. You don't like who you are as a person. Maybe you know, Fair. or like you said, you don't like what you did. Rick. But uh, fuck. It's to fill that void for sure. It's it's to definitely fill a void. I feel like I don't know psychologically when you do drugs, you're just trying to. I don't know. No, it's and, usually psychological. And like for sure, like like for instance, like I used to do drugs and sit in the hood with the homies and shit. And then like when I got a job and you know that you got something to do every day, I didn't want to just sit in the hood and do drugs every day no more. You feel me? Like Facts. I had to go to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Money was my high for sure. Yeah, it was like now I need to get a paycheck, bro. This is more important than just doing fucking drugs. So I don't know. No, nah, and uh, drugs crap you, man. You do it and you know. God, you know it affects your. T- it's gonna affect you tomorrow. You know. It affects yeah. you. you know, everybody it affects around your future, you. Affects man. Affects everybody you around you. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If it just it fucked off your day, but you know it's gonna affect you tomorrow. Whatever you do today, man, it's gonna spill over to tomorrow. Especially if you're doing drugs. Facts. I just want to end off yeah. with this. I, I definitely agree with that. And people feel like they live in one day. They're trapped in the same day. It's like a dream. Mm-hmm. But it's the drugs, man. It got same you. Same routine. Re-run. Drugs are real selfish. They only want you for them. That's facts. That's facts. So, so, like, with me, I feel like you should just, you know, try your hardest to, you know, don't do pills. You know what I'm saying? I've been, like I said, everybody's been addicted to something. But I feel facts. like. Nah, but it's not that easy. Like I said, you got to need you gotta need something to wing you off that shit, for sure. Start popping ibuprofens or something. Or... Nah, you don't need to start. You don't need to put something in place of something else, though. No, nah, that's facts, too. Bro. But it's hard to quit, like yeah, you said, yeah, cold bro. turkey, because I quit cold turkey and I even needed help, bro. Because you know, like I, I go to a person like I'm gonna segue into Kanye right now. So you got Kanye, right? You got a person like that that's going crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I ask myself, like, is he on drugs? You know what I mean? Does it seem like a person like that is on drugs? Like, I feel like that negative, negative, negatively impacts like the way people act. Like, and it it just brings you down. It's not beneficial in life for you to be doing drugs. So I feel like that's the reason why. Like if you just like I said, use an example like Kanye. Like look how the world has shunned him and, and pushed him away. Nah, because I think he used to like do drugs and then he stopped doing them and try to go cold turkey and then they try to like you said feed him the doctor pills and shit. No, nah, he just fucked his head up more. Like like for instance, are we trying to help the homie? Like just look at Kanye. He's definitely on drugs. He he was off of it like you said. And it fucked his brain up. Yeah, it fucked his brain up because he stopped. So he went yeah. back on and they that. Gave shit. him the doctor started giving him some other weird shit. You know what I mean? And then you got successful people that wake Anti-anxiety up in the morning. Anti anxiety and shit. Facts. You got people successful wake up in the morning, bro. They go to work every day, bro, and they trying to be successful. And I think that they know they know that if they did drugs every day, that wouldn't be uh, smart, and it would affect their life in a negative way. So they don't even try that type of shit. You feel me? So that's why I feel like it's just smarter for you to wing yourself off. It's a lot of good advice up here, but I feel like this is a big conversation. Nah, meditation works real good. You got to facts because you have a lot of people out here that can't get off of drugs. For sure, that's why it's a big conversation to me. You got a lot of people that are stuck inside this rut, this hole, and they they don't they don't have somebody to listen to to say, bro, like nah, maybe, maybe it's a job. It, yeah, if maybe I could do a, it for sure, they could do it. Maybe it's a hobby. Maybe it's something. But a lot of people they be stuck in these little holes. So I just I always try to you know what I'm saying give the best advice I can. So. Like, like, just, you know what I'm saying, try your best to get out of it. And like BZ said, talk to a counselor, anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Dig deep. Get that shit off your chest, man. Facts, though. Yeah. But you know what I want to talk about next, man? So I actually want to talk about these California floods, right? Facts. So the floods is happening in California. It's just going crazy all around. But my main thing is that we was complaining about water so long. Like, why didn't we have a place, you know, for this water to go or put a way to store it because we was already in a drought? And I want to know, like, do you feel like they're just creating chaos for no reason? Like, they're just trying to do that type of shit? What do you, how do you feel, Beezy? 
No, for sure. I think they made us suffer with so much water, without so much water. Mm -hmm. And then it's like they fucked with the weather, tweaked it, and then now it won't stop raining for a while. Now we're getting too much water. I think I think you're right, though. And they're like, they're really trying to wash, our, wash us out. And because California is such a green state, they're trying to wash out all our crops and shit. And it's weird. And I don't like it, for sure. Yeah, how do, you, how do you feel about this, bro? Do you feel like they're tweaking with the weather? Do you feel like, like, it's weird now at this point? No, nah, for sure. It's like it won't turn off. What's that <laughs> shit called? Um, AARP, HHRP, HARP, whatever. Yeah, yeah, HHRP, yeah. Definitely, I don't think they can um, control that. Control that. I think they can control the aspects around it, right? No, they like spread. The, the defenses, mm -hmm. you know, they could, like you said, they could find a way to make the... No, to put all the water away. You know, they could find a way to put all the water away, store it into a place. You know, that's why we have you know canals. You know, all these little rivers. You know, so they can go away. But obviously, they want us to suffer a little bit. Facts. They want us to die. They want us to make sure we we're starving. You know, it's just like it's like a pandemic. It was just a fucking facade. You know. Another shit they can control for sure. They want us to control everything. Actually, save save the pandemic one because I'm gonna go to that next. Go, well, how do you feel about this? This this water and we're we're flooding now and it's too much. How do you feel about I'm this? I'm a I'm a disagree with the fellas again. Let's man. go. Uh, I say it's global warming, man, and nobody's taking it serious. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People are starting to see that. Hey, man, times are changing. You they, know what I mean? I like, I like the fact that you came from a scientific point of view. Right, times are changing. You don't know, like man, we ain't never seen so much rain. We ain't never seen a flood for days mm -hmm. out here in Northern California. For real. But and not only that, the fires. If it ain't the fires, it's the rain. Yeah. And I feel like we all got to wake up and, and and do our part, man, for the global warming. Do you remember to stop global warming? Scoop. Do you remember the the how the summers were like 116 this year? Remember how it was? Yes, sir. It was bad. Yeah. That shit was crazy, bro. Like, like the that? wind would blow and fires would start. Yeah, it was Everywhere. so hot. Like, so you know, actually, Jay, I want to go back to that COVID thing that you had said. So I want to know, do you feel like they put something in that shit to affect the way that people are acting these days? Because before that ever happened, I don't feel like um, the world was. No, nah, everybody's crazy. been on ten for sure. Yeah, but 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 what I will say. Before you answer that, Jay, we're going to go to Jay first on this one because he brought that up. Yeah. What I will say, though, is uh, I see a lot of crazy shit happening, bro. And they had this little shot. Right. So do you feel like it's something that they put inside that shit that's making the people go crazy like this? Because you said it's all a facade. That's why I'm going back to you on this one. Uh, it's a man-made virus. Um, they had it controlled you know, for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, it wasn't made here, obviously, but it was spread. It, it's a spread. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like any disease. It spreads. You know, and it spread it to to the globally, bro. Yeah. It's, I don't got this. I don't have to say that for the whole camera to know. Everyone knows what the pandemic spread was. Spread it on the ground. They spread it in the air. So for sure, everybody was gonna get it. You know, one person caught it and it traveled to the next person. One person got it. They got it to the next, and it just spread globally. Now, it was a ploy, man. They, they they did all this for money, you know, tissues, toilet paper, wipes, mm -hmm. all this. And then the the you remember when the start of the shots started coming out? Yeah. How yeah. people were dying just to get, a, you yeah. know, a, a fucking to get plucked in. Yeah. People were going shit. to prison because they wanted to get a shot. I remember. It's a it's just all man made. It's all it's all for the government, man. It's all a scare tactic. Yep. To keep America and the, the whole world in a frenzy and off their pivot, you know what I mean? Yeah, keep going, keep going, give it to them. Sure, it's on you. No, nah, but for sure, it's up to uh, that. That's an agenda. And they're trying to take out as many people as they can, and they're trying to get as many people on board with their fucked up plan as they can. And a lot of people are starting to wake up, and they're trying to just, like you said, force shots on us, force this on us, force that on us, force our gun laws, force this is force everything by force and it's just crazy how, how, do, you, how do you feel Raider boy um man COVID-19 man what do you what do you think about COVID man 
Uh, speaking from somebody, I had it, man. So it was a motherfucker. Let me, me start too. there. Let me just too. start there, fellas. It was a motherfucker. Yeah, it was. You know when they said, you know, that China, China made it and it leaked out and all this, this and that, but. And I believe it. I believe it to an extent. But China you know, was wearing masks way on, before. Hold on. Hold on. I believe it to an extent. Mm hmm. You know, and, uh, yeah, it was a horrible thing that happened, man. But you know, the crazy thing is, uh, everybody know who Bill Gates is. Now, he said in the article that in 2030, we should expect another pandemic. And this is, I, I man, I honestly it's believe this sick. is not the first one. I mean, this is not going to be the last pandemic. There's another one that's working in the works. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a way to control the population, man. We're getting Facts. too big, man, you know. Like you said, the global warming, the earth can't Global warming, it, it all. We're not taking care of our earth and shit. Nah, it's, it, I mean, what, what do you guys think about, like, the, the government has a bill or, like, they get a certain t uh, amount of budget every year to uh, have population control, like, in different ways. Do you think that type of thing is right, like, due to the fact that the, the world is becoming overcrowded or? No, it's not right because they're coming through every which way. They're coming through our water lines. They're coming through our food. They're coming through our TVs. They're coming through everything. Like you said, COVID, all that weird shit. Anywhere they can get through to us, man. The food we eat, the shit we watch. They control everything, man. I honestly believe they control everything. Give me an, give me an example about some things that they control. Uh, food. For sure. Mm -hmm. You don't know where you get your soda or food or any of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. They get to, you don't know where, the, all this fast food and shit, you don't know where it's coming from. Right. This processed food, all cancerous food. Talking to the mic. You know what I mean? All this shit, man, it's all controlled, but you get to decide, man. Some people, uh, that's why they're doing the vegan shit and all this, man. A lot of people going vegan. A lot of people don't trust the food here. No, it's just don't eat fast food, really. It's that simple, but. Anything that has that needs a mascot for you to eat, you know what I mean? To be intrigued to eat it is not good for you. Clearly. Fuck that, man. All the hormones they put in the Anything food, little man. jingles and shit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I like that, though. I like that. That ain't say anybody need a mascot to make you eat their food, bro. That shit is not him. So I can't go to Ronald McDonald's, man? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> McDonald's, you know that shit's terrible. I wouldn't for trust you, it nowadays, P. I haven't seen Ronald McDonald in a minute, though, man. I ain't seen him for a minute. They got him hostage somewhere. <laughs> So you know we 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 bring this up a lot, and I, I always bring this up in a conversation, but I never really bring it up with everybody else. So I want to debate on it. Like, so do you feel like we should be able to vote on these type of things? Should there be a vote on food Not population sure. control budgets? Uh, should there be a vote on these things? Because they got to vote on our police departments and how much money they take yeah, out they, of our taxes. They control everything else. Why can't we get a little say so and some? We should, fellas, but, uh, man, it all ties down to that. We can vote all day, but they're going to do what they do. No, that's true, though. They got true. all the power. They're going to say vote, like and you try to make it sound like, oh, you know everybody Throw our votes vote away counts. Shit. You know everybody's voice is heard. That's what bullshit. About, our votes got lost in the shit. What about, the vote, what about if the vote turns law? Like, it's law, so they got to abide by it. I hope you see shit like that. I would hope, you know, I hope our right. system gets better. Because it needs I, to be when you think about it. I hope our system... Can yeah, become like that one a, day. All I see is a corrupt system from back to bottom to top to side. This shit's crazy. So you think? Cricket. Give me your opinion, yeah, Jay. Why? Why you feel like? I think, bro. It, it boils down to one thing, man. To fix, if you people want something fixed, right? Like you want people to vote for food, or you want people to vote for this. We gotta fix our our, our system altogether, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Fix it from the root, but you're never going to fix a corrupt government. You're never going to fix corrupt po politicians. People have money. They're going to always have power over the poverty. You know, the middle class always going to have power. Even the rich class, man. Mm -hmm. The low class, middle class. It doesn't matter. There's always going to be someone above you controlling how you They dictate everything. It's just a dictatorship. It's no government. It's always so, implied, man. So, so do you feel like that's a good question and I'll go around with that one do you feel like we're living in a, in a dictatorship for sure they're trying to dictate everything we do like we, we've been talking about this whole show they're dictating our guns they're dictating what we eat and shit well, you feel like we are yeah what you feel like Ray the boy I ain't heard you in a second uh, <laughs> uh 
I agree a little bit with that, fellas, man. We are being controlled in some way with the phone and all the shit. For you sure. know what I mean? Privacy. With the phones, bro. I'm telling you right now, with the phones, they really got us nowadays. The For phone sure. is motherfucking everything. We can't the, even phone, have, the phone is king. I'm we can't even have a real phone. Like. I'm going to ask you something, Gotti. When you was young, man, you was growing up, you could remember a lot of phones when you used the house phone. Yeah. All the girls and friends you didn't call. Now you probably can't listening shit. back then, too, though. You know, you can't remember shit now. You're so dependent on the phone now. I mean, but back in the days, you had to. I used to have a list of numbers by the phone just to call. You feel me? I used to have a paper wrote out. You feel me? You used to be thorough with it. You feel me? I used but to have you that still, shit. But memory. you still have that photographic memory because you yeah, have, I had the memory. I didn't might, have no numbers. You might, you might be gone from home and you need the pay phone. You feel me? So I remember those days too. Cause right. we, remember, I, I remember growing up when we had pay phones still. So yeah, he's the phone book man. And now you got the nah, GPS sure. gonna take you everywhere. But phone is like, hold on, nigga. this motherfucker said this way, that way. You know, they want you so depending on the goddamn phone. They want you, you need it. Yeah, that's they all you see you is need. people face stuck. So, what is your, uh, what's your idea of happiness? Like at this point in your life, what's your idea of happiness? Let's go. Let's start with Busy Mac. Man, at this point in my life, man, considering where I came from, I'm just happy to be alive, really. That's positive right there. Give it to him. Keep going. Because I lost so many people within my 36 years. I lost 35 friends just to the streets. So, really, I'm just happy to be here, man. You don't have no. You don't have no further uh, idea of happiness. Like, I mean, like. On the beach, nah, cause I'm sand. not perfect, really. Cause no, I'm saying like if if you was like a ranch, uh, what's your idea of happiness? Like, I understand you happy to be here. I'm happy to uh, be here. We all happy to wake up in the morning. Everybody is. But give me give me something better than that. What what's your idea of happiness, man? At, like like if you became successful, what's your idea of happiness, man? At this point, oh for sure, um, up in the hills somewhere, tucked off. Just living within nature and shit, away from the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Enjoying my the rest of my time here and shit. You know what I'm saying? Writing yeah. this shit up. Okay. As happy as I want to be, I am did what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't complain, really. I can feel it. I can feel it. What, what's, what's your idea of happiness, Jay? Honestly, man, I'm a very simple person. Um, I could talk about, a you know, having a nice ranch out in the middle of nowhere, which I would love. You know, sure. Don't get me wrong. I love to be. I don't like being in California altogether. If I'm being real, facts. I hate being around. I hate the traffic. I hate the people. I mean, I just don't like shit here. <laughs> if mm-hmm. I'm being real. And, and you coming from Arizona, you probably, it's probably a lot different. I feel it. More right. quiet, just hotter. Yeah. You know? But um, honestly, man, if the, my idea of happiness is to have my family members, man, around me, with me, mm-hmm. no, knowing that they're there to me, knowing that they're there with me. I don't care where I'm at in life, man. Just knowing I have a brother, a mom to fall back on, Fair. to talk to, man. Because you can have all the money in the world, man. All You can have the nicest house on the block. Mm-hmm. For sure. But it don't mean nothing if you don't have someone to share it with, man. Facts. Facts. That's Family's everything, for so sure. I ain't finna lie, bro. You, you, you hit him with that one. What, what's your idea of happiness, Big Raider boy? Uh, man, guys, if I can paint you a picture of what I think happiness is, I mean, it'll start off with it, you know? First off, man, I have my family. I have my family with me, for sure. and I I would love for them not to worry about a goddamn thing. And I have them financially. Right. You know, I want my mom to be like, I want this, this, mama. You got it. You ain't got to worry about a goddamn thing, because we all went through struggles in life. You know, you mm-hmm. want to come up with the people that you you start with. You know what I mean? That you ate with. You know, so right. my family. So, sure. you know, uh, that'll make me happy, man. For them uh, to realize they don't got to worry about nothing else. That I got them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For me to give back and help out without, you know, without a care in the world, that'll make me happy. Just to help out others, man, that'll, that'll bring joy to me. You know what I mean? That's happiness. Yeah, man. Giving back, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like me, my happiness, and you always, me and you, Raider Boy, we always argue over this, but my happiness is just making the team big. <laughs> yeah. And, and he know, you know what I'm saying, if you think I'm lying. He'd be like, bro, what's something you would do for yourself, I said. He right, like, right. Yeah. He's like, what I said for yourself. That's already coming to life, man. We here. We here. All I want, all I want is for us to all be big, man. I swear, man. Like, I look at this shit as like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, money gonna come. 
you know, all that shit in life going to come. Like, you, as long as you're a hustler and you stand on your grind, you know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to just have one hustle anyways. A lot of people look at life and be like, I'm supposed to get paid off of this. Now you're supposed to get paid off of 20 different things. Every which way, And, and some things you might not even get paid off of. You, you, might, you might do that until you get paid. Like, some things might lead up to a payment, for instance. Mm-hmm. But, like, you're just doing it for the love of it and some things turn into that, you know? But... <clears throat> I don't know. Only way is up. I think happiness is making everyone else around me happy. If I can't do that, then I feel like, you know, I ain't really doing my job. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like my team need to eat. Because if I fall off, and and, and God, please don't ever let me fall off. But if I was to ever fall off, I hope that y'all could fucking put me back on my feet. No, nah, for sure. If I make it, we make it. My family's getting on. Y'all getting on. We all getting on. For sure. Everybody that's here with me, we all getting on. And yeah, that's yeah. how I feel. So I don't really care about myself. Like I really care about like my team winning. I'm it's like been Big like Meech. that for I'm a while different. too. Fact. I'm different. I want my team because you know Big Meech is still rich in prison because he put on fucking 500 fucking people and BMF and shit. You know what I'm saying? So they're all around the world still. He put them on, bro, to some money. He put them on to an opportunity even when they wasn't making no money, bro. You start out, you doing this, bro, and we gonna go lead up to that. And he started making the millions of dollars. So I look at it like, bro, uh, you know. That's the best thing that you're gonna bring to the, bring to the team and bring to life, man. For but sure. What I, what I want to say is, what's something that, uh, like right now in life, right, that you're lacking on, that's stopping you from getting to that next level, though. Like, what is, is it? Something mental? Is it something physical? What is it? Is you gotta take the right risk, really. No, I'm asking you personally, not yeah, not, no. not, not some no, advice. I'm saying, I'm me, saying, I gotta take the right risk. There we go. I, I'm not gonna defame myself like all the rest of these clowns and shit, just chasing clout and shit. I'm gonna be original with myself, do what I want to do. If it's gonna take me longer, that be that as it may, I'm still gonna get there, man. But I'm still gonna be myself in the end. I'm not gonna let these, like you said, record labels or whoever, big heads trying to dictate what I'm gonna be and what I'm gonna do. Nah, facts. What do you think one thing is, Jay, that um, is stopping you from getting to that next level? To get me from the next level. That's a deep one right there. Um, I think if I had to boil it down, I think uh, I have a lot of things I... Because I'm very... I'm very intrigued with life. I like to work. I like to to like to get myself to, to money. I like money, man. You know, I don't want to be ever broke again. I know how that feels as a kid, man. You know? Scratching for those last pennies. Yeah. Well, like, what's something that's holding you back from, like, going to, like, I mean, we all could do something different. What's something that you that's holding you back from, like, getting to that next level where you want to be? Well, we talked about what happiness was, so probably, I want to know. Probably my past life, man. I still I still hold on to little things, and yeah. I feel like that, that affects the mm-hmm. way I think. Affects you going forward. And I think if, you know, because we, we keep it real on the filter, man, I feel like, I feel like I still have humps. Like little leaps I have to get over, but I still haven't done it. Right. And it's hard, but I'm trying every day to, to make it better. But it feels like every time I make one one jump over a hurdle, it feels like it's there's 30 more just waiting for me, man. Tell me about it. Clearly. You know? For sure. Tell me about it. Hey, I feel exactly what you mean. I, I, what do you think about that? Um, I'm with, I can agree with some of what they're saying, man. Uh. Sometimes the demons and the shit in your past, man, can, can follow you a long way. You know what I mean? It can be in the way. Mm-hmm. In here, you know what I mean? In here. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people hold shit in, man. And it can, a lot of people hold shit in, man, and uh, they can fear something and never, never talk about it. You mm-hmm. know, you know, because fear is strong. That's why it's good to let that shit out. Either write it in music, write it in poetry, see a therapist, man. You gotta get that shit out. And I, 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 this is my last one. We're going to finish up with this, man. So, what's but your... You, Jay, I mean, not to cut you off. Nate, uh, let me finish. No, go Daddy, ahead. Man, uh, go ahead. I don't know. I, something that I feel may be stopping me, man, I'll be stuck in my way sometimes. Stubborn. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Too sometimes I, I just be stubborn. It's my way or the highway. And that, that may be setting me back, man. You know? Yeah. I got to uh, know sometimes, hey, I'm not always right. You know what I mean? And uh, I got to be more open to what other people got to say, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes they open my eyes. So that's it, man. That's what I think is stopping me. And with me, to me, the, the thing I feel like is stopping me 
the most. I should blow the smoke out being unprofessional. Uh, to be honest, is um, I need to work harder. I feel like sometimes I have thoughts in my head or ideas, and I'm just sitting around. And I just don't do nothing when I could be doing something. Like I have everything right there at the grasp of my palm. Like I could put out a million different things or do a million different things, but I just no. You do a lot though, fool. But look, I just think that I think that too much. I think that's holding me back, me personally, because I feel like at a certain point, like if you just. I mean, I am mentally drained, right? But I feel like I still No, should. you always want more, so that keeps I you I always going. want more, and I feel like I could be doing more, even though I am mentally drained. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say. Like, Facts. And uh, also, too, I mean, uh, I feel like people's surroundings and who they fuck with all the time mm-hmm. play some effect. Now, you guys, have you guys ever had that friend you call... And, they always talking about the same shit. Yeah, definitely. Like the, the same, same shit. Ways. Yeah, definitely. And it starts becoming depressing. You damn near don't want to pick up the phone because you know what he's going to say. Yeah. Shit, I'm at the house. And you talking about some whole other that you can't even talk to him about because you know he can't relate or he don't want no part of it. That's what? Because he's always on the same train. That's shit, how right I used to be, though. I ain't going to lie. Because I used to be stuck in the hump, like you said, for a long time. Yeah, you were. I remember. A couple years depressed for years. Yeah, you were. And then I, I went. Do shit. And then I went right over there with yeah. you. And it was a big struggle. It was like a big struggle. We should have moved forward on a lot of different for ideas. For sure. We should have done been up here. Like, been doing it's a this. lot of different. It's a lot of different ideas. I think sometimes mental illness, too. Like, when you just. When you traumatized by a situation or things that happen, that should have hold your ass back, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Tra- oh. A trauma. A, a trauma. A, yeah. a, a trauma, my fault. That should have really hold your ass back in any oh, situation. For sure. Most definitely. But we're going to finish out the show on that note, man. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Facts. Hey, it's your boy, Big Gotti. Raider boy, it's been a pleasure. Hey, man, it's been Jay Wade. Thank you for watching me. I am busy macking the handicap assess. Yes, sir. And until the next one, don't forget to like and subscribe, man.